actually didn't really start painting until um, after my daughter had grown up. But I have been involved in art almost all my life, having a background with the art all around. And so I just didn't think that that was my venue until later on and found out I liked it and did okay with it. These are all done on location. I, I work 99%, I think, on location. I bring them into the studio to clean up any areas that need to be tidied up and just try to keep the spontaneity of the painting that I saw when I was painting it, either in the early morning or late afternoon when the light is just right. It probably has a lot to do with being on Maui. Um, there's, there's a lot of support here on this island for the arts. There's the communities behind the artists, they support the arts. There's the Hui Nuiao and the Maui Cultural Arts Center and Village Gallery, Lin Chu. They've all been very helpful, the Lahaina Arts Society. If an artist were to start, this is the lucky break I had was to do this uh, here on Maui. I was very fortunate to run into uh, Stephen Sands and Cecilia Rodriguez, uh, two very fine people who uh, introduced me to the world of painting. Actually, my first painting was on black velvet, which was what they specialized in. My first show at the, when I was 17 at the Lahaina Art Society that, that this is, I think, what I wanted to do. And I think my first show was probably right when I graduated from college. I think it was the first, within the year, let's just put it that way. I think it was around 79, 1980. Yeah, this piece is um, pretty much representative of the kind of work that I'm doing right now. I've um, about two years ago, I've um, decided to do something different with my palette, something different. And uh, I decided to cut down my palette from 13 colors to three colors plus white. And so I've been painting since I was 13, so um, I think it was time for a change. <laughs> you know, one day I thought, well, what would happen if I was so broke that I had only three colors? Would I still be able to paint? And to my surprise, I uh, discovered I had a wealth of experience from all the years of painting and that I, I discovered that I had range. I, I could do paintings with just three colors. Uh, in fact, I'm very proud and happy. This is the first show of paintings that are exclusively with three colors. And um, yeah, it just it seemed like a, a door just opened for me. I feel like I have found some freedom. Um, and uh, right now I'm feeling pretty good. Ukumahami Shoreline is uh, part of a series of paintings I've done of, uh, along the coast here of Mali. And coincidentally, it's areas that I fished with my boys. Um, this painting especially um, has some sentimental value for me. My two boys and I, we both camped overnight and uh, we all caught a fish. So it was terrific. We had a lot of good memories there. I think it basically captured the essence of an early morning where everything starts to slowly wake up, starting with the, the light in the sky, uh, knowing that the sun's coming up soon. Um, then you start hearing the birds, just hearing a little bit of traffic, but uh, the constant sound of the ocean is nearby. There's a slight breeze coming up. I'd say uh, there's among three things that are very hard for me. That is one, uh, to part with uh, some of them. Um, the second part is finding titles and uh, setting prizes. Those are the three things that are very hard. <laughs>